So Forest in arch, um, left hand side, all cut, ready to go, nice tight joints. Um, just got a little bit of tweaking on the first ones down the right hand side and uh, the rest of the right hand side is all marked out ready for cutting. So we'll get on with that soon and then we'll put it over the bullseye. Before I go any further, I'm just going to do a quick little um, chat on um, how things are going at the moment. Now, uh, some of you may be wondering why these are so tight around here. Well, the reason for that is obviously this is the crown of the arch, and the brick that goes there is this one. And obviously, I had to take that point as my uh, dating as it were really and everything had to radiate from this one and because of that um, obviously when it gets to there that was the size of this point so all the rest had to follow that one just because of that, that top one now the other thing I'm going to say about this is um, here this side I am really nice and on my gauge marks now cutting with the Dewalt um, is that's a lovely cutter but 
really these need to be cut on a clipper saw so you get a really nice straight cut because with the um, DeWalt one that I'm using you can just see there as well they're just every now and again you get little lips and uh, when two of those little lips uh, touch each other I'm finding that the joints obviously a little bit you know, opening up and um, which I'm finding was happening on here so I've just crept forward a little bit on this one so it is it really really every time you lay one you do have to keep uh, an eye on these so um, I've just taken two off just to see if I can get rid of the bumps because you know, just on this one here again you can just see there's a bump on the back there so when I'm laying the next one if that two has got a little bit of one like, like this one has again and you get the two bumps together then the joint is just a little bit too big and then if that happens two or three times then you see here that I am about nearly a joint forward on that so I'm just going to tweak these two to get back to my gauge marks and then hopefully everything will run smoothly. I hope that explained a few things. It's not as easy um, as what it may look but like I said clip a saw uh, on these especially when I come to do uh, the flat arch when I'm going to do a, like a rubbing gauge because this one although the joints are tight uh, this is still just an axed arch as I'll explain with a, a rubbed and gauged arch where we go for joints slightly thinner than this uh, everything you have to start off by cutting the bottom so it sits flat and then when you cut and cut all your sides they will all sit uh, 90 degrees so all your cuts will be really nice and together and they're often called rubbed and gauged arches because you'll do that and even so after all of that you will rub your bricks down to get them 100% square on every corner and then all the joints will f um, all the bricks will fit really nicely into each other so anyway I'm now going to carry on and obviously get to the top and then uh, I'm going to do a little bit of brick road at the back as well obviously um, I might do that before I carry on um, because I want to put a core in here and obviously because of that I want to have something solid at the back right let's crack on again and the other thing I just wanted to mention so many cuts you don't want to get them mixed up so I'll always make sure that I number them and Roman numerals is the easiest because obviously they're all straight. Obviously you've got uh, the ones and then you've got the V's. And then when you get to 10, you've got an X. So uh, that will take you right up to 99. So uh, um, I don't think you're ever really gonna have to mark 99 cuts. So Roman numerals, always the easiest ones to do with a little cut.
So what I'm going to do is I'm drying some of the mortar ray and I'll just use the tuck line just to compress these joints a little bit and fill up the gaps that I've got there. there. And um, next thing will be, we want to be taking this out, but with an arch centre you have wedges and you can release it and get it out nicely. With a bullseye, you can see I've already scalloped this bit out, so I'm going to put a piece of wood on here and with that, and then I'm going to try and get it out. But obviously, on a, a fresh arch, um, it's not a good idea. Obviously, with an arch centre, which is out, take it out, it's fine. But with this, it's going to be a bit more difficult. But I don't know if there's many of you watching this, um, to get a, a centre out of a bullseye is always um, a bit of a problem. If you can't push it back the other way, um, you do have a danger if um, these bricks aren't very um, square. As you're pulling it out, you could take the edges off uh, and also the mortar that falls back from the inside uh, might get stuck on one or two pieces. So sometimes this can be a, a real awkward operation getting this out. But I do something different. So when I come to take this out, you'll see what I do, which hopefully will make it easier. Last two times I've done it, that's uh, come out um, easier than um, I expected. So um, hopefully when you see it, that's um, what you'll start doing as well. Anyway, they're gonna just pack all these joints and get a bit of a, a finish on it. And um, then I'm gonna brick a little bit in the back just to get some weight on the back of it and then we'll see what the time is and before I go I might um, actually get this out. Um, I, I, like I said I'd like to get it out before I go but um, if I put the brickwork at the back and I still think it's a little bit too early then I, I might do it next time I come. But when I get this out we've got a little pattern thing going in here um, which um, I'm quite looking forward to doing as well. So um, we'll see how it will go. Anyway, let's get this looking a little bit better. Well, I'm just um, obviously packing the joints out and uh, filling up with the tuck line. Um, I wouldn't say I'm um, very happy with um, this arch. So I was very looking forward to doing it. Um, what I'll say though is um, having the joints all tight, as I mentioned before, you really do need a clipper saw. Um, so to do it like this with um, just um, like a power saw, a handheld one, um, you, um, as I said before, you, you don't cut the backs of the bricks um, very square, or I don't anyway. And uh, it just means that some of the times when I was doing this, some of the joints um, weren't fitting quite as well as I hoped. So um, we've got the overall look of it, um, but I'm just uh, a little bit disappointed with the size of one or two of the joints. Um, I hope some look a little bit worse because I haven't cleaned them up yet. Um, but I'll, I'll carry on packing these out um, and just join it up a little bit and then I'll give it a brush and see what see what I'm really looking at. Okay. screws out, see if you can hear something, apart from the drill. Normally I wouldn't even 
think of taking a save this early. But, as I said before, last two, the previous two bullseyes that I've done, I've done this. Let's have a see if you can hear anything. see that these are the eyes and then this is the nose and that's the mouth there that is but when I had it in place um, up on the bullseye I kind of kept looking that this looked like the mouth and that looked like nostrils and um, so the illusion of it now didn't quite look right so I might change it just a little bit and just squeeze these up a little bit just to make it look more of a mouth um, but we'll see so all I'm going to do to start off with is draw this round. Now I haven't got time to do what I wanted to do and that was I wanted to do the surrounding um, bricks in red and I wanted to do the actual lion's head in a buff but I wouldn't have time to do that. But Maybe later on, depending on how this goes, um, I'll do it on something else. <laughs> <laughs> 